So I want to talk a little bit more about relationship between the I and the thou. Um, as I had already started in so many previous uh, uh, videos, but as uh, the next full moon uh, is, uh, the the sun is in the seventh house, and then, and then of course the moon is in the first house. The first house is I, me, and myself. So we have this X here, and we have this uh, uh, I call it the achievement uh, uh, square. You see, and uh, then here we have this like this boat. It's also like a cradle. Now, all this here until this point, uh, the so-called descendant from the ascendant, the sign rising to the sign falling. That is this. All this is personal. So when we are going into relationship, the question is, how is our relationship with ourselves? Now, uh, some of you who uh, know me longer know that in the year 2019, uh, by the age of 65, I finally found my true love, my uh, twin flame. So I never have believed in twin flame or I haven't had so a romantic uh, uh, um, ambitions. Uh, but um, I have um, uh, learned that uh, this uh, twin flame uh, relationships, they are not especially uh, happy. So lately I have been making these videos, um, introduction, yeah, introduction one to five so far, and I will add more. Uh, and so what happens in a twin flame relationship, as I am experiencing it, is that we are massively confronted with our shadows. Our twin flames are uh, mirroring us massively about traits of ourselves that we do not like. So when I met my dear, uh, a twin flame, I thought the only way I would ever doubt that he loves me is if I don't love myself. So when I learned to love him, I learned to love him because of his kindness, about his tenderness, how he's able to relate to uh, children, to small children, to animals, very personally. And um, I looked back at myself and I thought I was never that kind. I was never that uh, patient. Uh, I was never that tender with anybody like he is. And then I have learned also uh, when I first started to, to uh, kind of research of what is the so-called twin flame, does it exist or is it some kind of stupid uh, new age belief, uh, what they today call hopium, the hopium. <laughs> so in, in now um, accepting the relationship as it is means accepting to permanently look into the mirror and ask, oneself, do I like myself? Do I love my own self? Can I forgive my own self? Am I able to forgive anybody if I'm not able to forgive my own self? Now the question is, if I'm able to give my own self, am I able to forgive others? Am I able to accept that it's not only the, the ones that we love that are close to us, our partners, our family members, our children, our parents, but everybody, everything that surrounds us, a mirror to our own consciousness, 
I want to leave it here and then uh, probably continue because that is so important for us to know why we are manifesting the kind of situations, the kind of relationships, the kind of circumstances we are in.